Good. I'm a professor at the University of Auckland Medical School. And this is what I want to say. I want to say that transport touches health in many ways. Some good ways. You know, we need to be able to get around um, for livelihoods and for access to services and so on. But the present transport system we have in New Zealand harms health severely. We have estimated that uh, the total burden of illness attributable to the transport system in New Zealand is similar to the size of the smoking problem. So it's by no means trivial. It involves air pollution, it involves all the problems that come with not being able to be physically active. It's a consequence of mental health caused by stress, mental problems caused by stress. Um, and what's more, we know what to do about it, you know, so fixing transport is sort of the best buy when it comes to public health and preventive medicine, you know, it's, it's a matter of um, getting people out of cars, basically, still need them of course, but shouldn't be shackled to them in the way that we are, more physical activity, uh, quieter streets, more opportunities for social connection. We can do all those things if we redesign our transport system. And then on top of it, we've got climate. Transport is, in New Zealand, the second biggest source of transport of carbon dioxide emissions. The biggest source of carbon dioxide emissions, actually the second biggest source of climate emissions. And that's basically a problem of our car dominance. So we know what to do, it's a big problem, it's a huge concern for us and the health system. Have your say. The government position statement that's just come out provides an outline of where the new government wants transport to go over the next five years. I personally disagree deeply with the direction, I think it's uninformed, I think it's irresponsible, it's certainly health damaging. Have a look, make up your own mind about what you think we should be saying to the, um, the new government and make a submission.